Well, thank you very much. Uh, we had some good news. Uh, the market hit a all-time high today. The S&P just broke its record, so we're very happy about that. Uh, stock market continues to do well. Jobs have been uh, literally through the roof. And uh, speaking of jobs, we have the USMCA with Canada, with Mexico. And uh, we've come a long way. And it's a great agreement. As you know, Mexico yesterday approved it yep. with a very positive vote. And uh, you're doing very well, I understand, also. We are. But it's an honor to have the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Uh, he's been a friend of mine. We've worked hard together. We work, in particular, on the USMCA. And we hope to have bipartisan support. I think, uh, Justin, you're going to be making the rounds of Congress later on. Meeting a few people. That's a terrific thing, but it's great to have you. So we're going to be talking about that. And generally, we'll be talking trade and other things. And we're then going to have lunch and some meetings. And it's an interesting day, but it'll be like a positive day, I think, like usual. That's the way we want to have it. We want to have very positive days. We only have positive days. So I want to thank you very much, Justin, for Coming to the White House. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, please. Uh, thank you, Donald, for, uh, for uh, this meeting. It's an opportunity for us, as you say, uh, to keep talking about how we've worked hard to great build a, a great trade deal that's good for Canadian workers, good for American workers, good for uh, Mexican uh, workers as well. Uh, we're moving forward on the ratification process aligned with you. Uh, obviously, today as well, uh, on top of the great news uh, in the Canadian and American economies, uh, we're continuing to work on, uh, on a broad range of, of global issues. Uh, obviously, there's news today we're going to be talking about as well. Uh, but this is just a, a really great opportunity for us to continue uh, to work and to develop and to build on the you know, closest alliance in the world between Canada and the United States. Well, this will be the largest trade deal ever made. And it won't even be close. If you take a look at the numbers, second is so far away, you don't even call it second. So it's very exciting and very exciting for Mexico, very exciting for Canada. And I have to also thank the President of Mexico because he's really been doing a job on the border and a job in Mexico. A lot of very positive things have happened, and uh, the flow has very substantially slowed down. They have 6,000 Mexican troops on their southern border. And it's been uh, — it's really been a tremendous difference. I want to thank Mexico and the people of Mexico. Now, this has only been for a short period of time. Uh, our country has been asking for this for 45 years, approximately. And uh, they're doing it now. And we very much appreciate that Mexico is doing that. It's going to have a big impact. It's already had a big impact. So with that, I thank you very much. And we're going to get on with our discussions. Thank you. This is the new — Mr. President, how do you I was going to say this is the new Air Force One. Right? Okay. That's uh, which we ordered, which they've been trying to order for a lot of years. Uh, we were able to shave $1.5 billion off the price. When I got here, they were going to spend a lot more money than we spent. And uh, I would say the plane basically is an upgrade over that model. We actually are getting things that they didn't get. And we're saving about $1.5 billion. So it's going to be terrific. It's under construction right now by Boeing. Uh, go ahead. Question? Now, Ron made a big mistake. Uh, this drone was in international waters. Clearly, we have it all documented. It's documented scientifically, not just words. And they made a very bad mistake. How okay? will you respond, Mr. President? How will you respond? respond? You'll find out. You're, you're planning to do something You'll find out. You'll find out. I mean, obviously, 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 you know, we're not going to be talking too much about it. You're going to find out. They made a very big mistake. There are two Canadians that are in jail in China right now. No concerns. Uh, we'll be discussing that. It'll be one of the issues I think we'll be discussing right now with Justin. Mr. President, the Fed made no change to the interest rate. Say it? The Fed made no change to the interest rate, right? Well, I guess they indicated they're going to be lower. We should have done sooner, but what are you going to do? You can't win them all. He should have done it sooner, but you can't win it all. And uh, eventually, uh, he'll do what's right, perhaps. Let's see what he does. What's that? Do you intend to bring them up when you meet with President Xi? Do you intend to bring them up when you meet with Obviously, we are we're, uh, very concerned about the escalation by Iran recently. We have uh, significant presence in the area, including leading on the NATO mission in, in Baghdad and Iraq. Uh, we look forward to discussing with uh, our closest ally uh, their perspectives on this and how uh, we can move forward as an international community. Well, you 
Shinjo get a meeting with Xi Jinping? Will you help Justin Trudeau get a meeting with Xi Jinping at the G20 next week to talk about this thing? Well, I don't know that he's trying to meet. Are you trying to get a meeting? We're, well, we've got a lot of dis things to discuss. Well, yes. 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 Otherwise, I'll represent him well. I will tell you. We have a meeting set up with President Xi, and it's uh, obviously on the big transaction that we're talking about and negotiating. Our people are actually speaking now. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, anything I can do to help Canada, I will be doing. Excuse me? Are you planning to bring it up with President Xi when you meet with him? I, I would, at Justin's request, I will absolutely bring it up. When, when USMCA is ratified, sir, will that be the end Don't of say tariffs? when. When it is ratified. Don't say when, because if so far, I have to get the Democrats to approve it, all right? So uh, I, I like your positive thinking. But if and the if is really subject to the Democrats. Let's see what happens. But I really believe that Nancy Pelosi and the House will approve it. I think the Senate will approve it rapidly. Uh, it's going to be very bipartisan. It's great for the farmers, manufacturers. It's uh, really great for everybody. And unions. It's great for unions. I mean, I, we have tremendous union support, too. Uh, it's a tremendous uh, — it really is — it shows a partnership between three countries. And it's sort of three countries in a trade sense. We're competing with the European Union. We're competing with China. It gives us a bigger dialogue. It gives us a much bigger platform. It's really good for all three. It's something that's very popular. I hope politically they can do what they have to do. Now, a day after the election, it would win with a tremendous support. But we have an election coming up. Uh, but I, I think Nancy Pelosi is going to do the right thing. And will that be the end of tariffs on Canada and Mexico? Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, they have to do what they have to do. We understand that. Uh, we can't have uh, big, uh, tremendous shipments of certain products, and so we understand that very we well. Were, we were very pleased with the lifting of the tariffs yeah. on steel and aluminum. They've been lifted, as you know, and uh, there won't be, hopefully, trans-shipping. If there's trans-shipping, I'll call Justin, and I'm sure he'll take care of it. And if he doesn't, take, I'll probably call him a second time. And if he doesn't, then we'll have to talk, right? But I think, that, uh, I think that that situation is very well taken care of. Uh, very important for both countries and for all three countries, the farmers. Very, very important. More so in that case from us and Canada. But the farmers are really happy with it. The uh, manufacturers are very happy. Uh, Mexico is thrilled. You saw the vote. It was a very lopsided and a positive way vote, a great vote. And I think it's going to be something very special. Again, it's the largest trade deal by far ever entered into. And we're very close to having finalized. It means a lot of jobs for our country, a lot of wealth for all three countries. And we're really competing against the world. You know, we're not competing with each other so much. This brings us into a position where we're not competing with each other. We're competing against the world. And that's what we're doing. We're competing against big sections of the world, including Asia and including other areas. And I think it's going to be very special. I think it's going to end up being a very important deal, but the biggest ever made. Yes. Would you invite the Toronto Raptors to the White House? Would you invite the Toronto Raptors to the White House? Well, we, we thought about that. That's an interesting question. Uh, they played phenomenal basketball. I watched a little bit of it. Uh, they were really terrific. Congratulations, by the way. That was a great job by a great team. So we'll think about that. If they'd like to do it, we'll think about that. We have a lot of other folks coming. Uh, and the Presidential Medal, I just spoke to him. Uh, we're going to be presenting the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Roger Penske. Roger Penske is a great gentleman who has won 18 Indianapolis 500s. He's won uh, — just won Daytona. He won da Daytona. He won Indianapolis. He won probably more than anybody in the history of racing. I can't imagine anybody even being close. But Roger Penske is going to be getting the Medal of Freedom. And uh, he's very thrilled to be getting it, and that'll be announced over the next little while. But I guess, uh, actually, I'm announcing it pretty much now. But they'll be, <laughs> they'll be putting something out. They'll be putting something out in a little while. He's very deserving. He's a great gentleman. I've known him a long time and uh, a very brilliant guy. You know, when you think of all the countries that want to win Indianapolis and Daytona, and they fight and they spend, even Canada, they spend a lot of money. And they uh, — and, you know, when a man wins Indianapolis, when he wins it 18 times, and he just won the Daytona. And uh, he won uh, many things over the course of years, and he's become a very successful man. Uh, we talked about electric cars today. I think nobody knows more about that subject in terms of common sense than Roger Penske. So Roger Penske will be getting and receiving the uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom. Mr. President, you said Iran is a different country. Do you still hold that opinion? 
Oh, absolutely. When I came here, Iran was in 14 to 18 different sites of confliction. Uh, they were extremely hostile. They were hostile when they signed the deal. They were screaming death to America. And I think probably Iran made a mistake. I would imagine it was a general or somebody that made a mistake in shooting that drone down. And fortunately, that drone was unarmed. It was not — there was no man in it. And there was no — it was just — it was over international waters, clearly over international waters. But we didn't have a man or woman in the drone. We had nobody in the drone. It would have made a big difference, let me tell you. It would have made a big, big difference. But uh, I have a feeling — I may be wrong, and I may be right, but I'm right a lot. I have a feeling that it was a mistake made by somebody that shouldn't have been doing what they did. Think I think they made a mistake. And I'm not just talking to — the country made a mistake. I think that somebody under the command of that country made a big Are mistake. Are you still talking to Iran's leadership? Let's just see what happens. You just let's see what happens. It's all going to work out. So you, you feel like, like there are members of your administration who want to? Say it. Are you saying you think it was an intentional strike? I don't know. I, I find it hard to believe it was intentional, if you want to know the truth. I think that it could have been somebody who was uh, loose and stupid that did it. But we'll be able to report back, and you'll understand exactly what happened. But it was a very foolish move. That I can tell you. What, do you feel like there are members of your administration who are trying to push you into conflict? No, not at all. Not at all. In fact, in many cases, it's the opposite. But I will say, look, I said I want to get out of these endless wars. I campaigned on that. I want to get out. We've been in Afghanistan for 19 years. As you know, we've reduced very substantially in Afghanistan. Uh, we beat the caliphate. We took back 100 percent of the caliphate. When it was 99 percent, Justin, I said, we're going to get out. We're going to start peeling back. And everybody went crazy because it was 99. So I said, all right, so we'll finish it up. So we got 100 percent. And we're pulling that back out of Syria. We're pulling a lot of people back. Uh, but this is something — this is a new wrinkle. This is a new fly in the ointment, what happened shooting down the drone. And uh, this country will not stand for it. That I can tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you, President. Thank you, Thank you, President. Thank you, President. Thank you, Thank you.